In programming languages, an important feature is inheritance. In entity relationship diagrams, we can model inheritance using is a nodes. This is an example entity relationship diagram. Here we use is a nodes to express that every employee is a person and every customer is a person. So what does this mean? It means that the employee inherits the attributes of person. So every employee also has a name and an address. Likewise, every customer also has a name and an address. Furthermore, we express that every officer is an employee, every teller is an employee, and every secretary is an employee. So the officer, teller, and secretary all inherit the attributes of employee. So they all inherit the attribute salary, name, and address. So the lower level entities are subgroups of the higher level entities. An employee is a subgroup of person. The lower level entities do not only inherit the attributes, but they also inherit all the relationship sets of the higher level entities. We can design such entity relationship diagrams either top-down or bottom-up. The top-down design process is called specialization. Here we start from the higher level entity sets and we identify subgroups within the entity sets. These subgroups become the lower level entity sets, they may have additional attributes and they may participate in relationship sets that the higher level entity sets do not participate in. The bottom-up design process is called generalization. Here we start with the lower level entity sets and then we combine entity sets that share common attributes or common features and we extract these common attributes and create a higher level entity set. It is important to note that the higher level entities can belong to zero or more of the lower level entity sets. For instance, a person might neither be an employee nor a customer. Then this person belongs to neither of the lower level entity sets. A person could also just be an employee or just a customer, but a person could also be employee and customer at the same time. Then this entity belongs to more than one of the lower level entity sets. The entity relationship model gives us different ways to specify how the higher level entities are distributed over the lower level entity sets. For instance, we can use a value-based assignment. We can annotate the connection from the isn node to a lower level entity set with such a predicate. In this case, h is greater or equal 18. Then the higher level entity will be assigned to the lower level entity set automatically based on this predicate. For instance, think of having a higher level entity set person and two lower level entity sets adult and minor. Then we could annotate the connection from the is and node to adult with the predicate age is greater or equal to 18. Then any person whose age is at least 18 would automatically be assigned to the lower level entity set adult. So we have an automatic assignment to the lower level entity sets based on attribute values. If such annotation is not present, then the default is a user-based assignment, a manual assignment of the higher level entities to the lower level entity sets. We can also annotate the is and node with a disjoint constraint. This means that every higher level entity belongs to at most one of the lower level entity sets. No entity belongs to more than one of the lower level entity sets. 
An example would be that a fraud can either mean apple or pear, but not both at the same time. If this disjoint annotation is not present, then the default is that the lower level entity sets may be overlapping, as an example with the employee and the customer. So we can have a person that is at the same time an employee and a customer. Finally, we can use such a double line from the is and node to the higher level entity set to indicate that we have a total participation of the higher level entity set in this is a relation. So this total participation means that every higher level entity belongs to at least one of the lower level entity sets. An example would again be the higher level entity person and lower level entities adult and minor. Every person is either an adult or a minor. 